military men and women deserve our ongoing thanks for their service to our country. And we especially remember those who are serving in combat zones this Thanksgiving and away from their families. Right now, you're about to meet a Marine who served in 400 missions, saving countless lives from IEDs. IEDs, they're the number one killer of U.S. soldiers in the Middle East. And the best way to detect them is with dogs. This is Luca and her handler, Chris Willingham. They served as one of many canine teams that detect explosives on the front lines. Luca had completed over 400 missions and saved countless lives until one operation went terribly wrong. The new book, Top Dog, tells Luca's inspiring story and how she has made a difference on and off the battlefield. Please help me welcome to the 700 Club retired United States Marine Luca and her owner, Marine Gunnery Sergeant Chris Willingham. Come on in. Great to have you with us today. Thanks for having us. Come on, sweetie. What is, I suppose you don't like to hear her called sweetie. <laughs> no, Hello. she's fine. She's retired now. So she she's it. beautiful. Chris, so nice to have you with us. You have quite a history with this dog, and I want to talk to you a little bit about that. But how does a dog like Luca become a military dog? Uh, well, first we'll, well, we'll test and evaluate the dogs to make sure they have, uh, have the drive uh, to be a working dog. Uh -huh. And once we evaluate them, uh, we'll, we'll start a training cycle down at Lackland Air Force Base. And uh, once they're certified, they'll be shipped out to the bases and become operational. Wow. How long does it take to do that? It's uh, on average about a 100-day training cycle for your average uh, basically trained military working dog. Now, she is a pretty incredible dog, and you have formed an amazing bond with her. When did you first realize how special she was? Uh, we were paired together April 23rd, 2006, and uh, it, was, it was shortly after that. I mean, it was, it was amazing to see kind of her personality, and you could tell she was always processing uh, information and uh, quicker than some other dogs I've trained, and so it was, it was quick to early on to see that she was a special dog. Now, she's part shepherd, and she's something else. But I'd, uh, never, heard of, I'd never heard of that before. It's a, it's a great working dog. They don't have the hip dysplasia that the German Shepherds uh -huh. get. Uh, they have a great drive and, and just phenomenal at, uh, when it comes to... Uh, patrol work. As I was reading your book, I was, I mean, I, I've known that there are dogs used by the military, but you know, you don't have insight into how that works and why it's so amazing. But talk a little bit, if you will, about the value and the hard work these dogs bring and the security to those of you who are out there in danger's way. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. So in, uh, basically at the end of, of Vietnam, our, our primary job was more law enforcement oriented. Mm -hmm. um, after 9-11, just like everybody else, we quickly uh, started adapting our uh, tactics and procedures is to, to kind of uh, to develop to what's going on in Iraq and Afghanistan and we develop these off-leash detection dogs um, that's what Luca is she's trained to search off-leash out in front of a patrol uh, looking for IEDs you know so she goes in front of you and the yes, men that are with you men and women and then how does that work when she's off-leash how do you control that it's a lot of training a lot of training hours put into it a great bond you know you know, it's, it's a common saying that obedience is the foundation of all dog training, um, but also just as important as having that relationship with the dog, where the dog mm -hmm. respects you, you respect the dog. And, <laughs> um, and you know, with, with IEDs being the, the number one threat to coalition forces, um, these, these dogs served a great purpose over there. You know, I guess they were so. between a, a, a well-trained handler and a dog, they were a great countermeasure to IEDs. Yeah. Some of these dogs lose their lives because th there's an IED that goes off while they're out in the middle of the, of the, the field, and that's actually what happened to her, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. It, it doesn't happen as, as often as you think it would, um, mainly because, uh, like I said, just between the, the training the handler receives on they how to employ to the dog. They know what to look for. And... Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how did she lose her leg? So she was, um, uh, I, I had her for about five years. We did two tours to Iraq, and then once I, I left uh, Camp Pendleton, California, I handed it over to one of my younger Marines, Corporal Juan Rodriguez, um, I went on embassy duty, so I went to Helsinki, Finland um, in November 2011, and Rodriguez and my old platoon went back to Afghanistan. Uh, November 2012, I'm sorry, uh, March 2012, they were leading a patrol. They just mm -hmm. left the tree line. They were about 100 meters away from the tree line, and Luca located an IED, and that was our second one with that patrol. And we obviously start, we start looking for secondaries once a dog responds. And so they're looking for secondaries, and the secondary uh, IED was booby-trapped, and it, uh, it took off her front left paw, and uh, mm -hmm. it caused pretty bad burns on her chest and upper torso. Uh, Rodriguez, you know, is an immediate shock, but then his, his training kicked in. He does, does what Marines do, and he, he ran past the, the known IED and 
uh, put a tourniquet on, on Luca, mm. uh, picked her up, ran her back 100 meters to the tree line. Uh, they gave her a shot of morphine and had her medevac in 10 minutes. Wow. Um, so it's a hundred, Rodriguez saved her life. And if you ask him about it, he'll just say he's returning the favor because he's, she he's saved a, his absolutely. life. Absolutely. She's many amazing. Times. What she's, Was that hard for you to let her go after you'd trained and become so bonded with her when you had to at that point? It, it is. It is. But it's, uh, you know, you know, it was coming and knew it was part of the process. I mean, we'd been the, together. We had a long uh, five years together. Yeah. Um, you you kind of knew it was coming. And uh, just to get a chance to choose the handler that's going to take over as Lucas Handler was it was a great opportunity, and Rodriguez was was 100% the right mm -hmm. choice. I mean, he's, he did everything right during that patrol, and he had a great personality to match Lucas. He did a great job for me in Afghanistan in 2010, and uh, you know, I owe everything to him. So how did you get her back? So that was uh, when, I, when I handed the leash <laughs> over to, to Rodriguez. You know, she was getting up in age, and, and uh, it was going to be her third deployment, and so I was going to adopt her after, ah. uh, after that deployment anyway. The injuries kind of <laughs> sped everything up. Um, because I, like I said, mm -hmm. just having five years with her, she was, uh, she was gonna come home and live with us. And it's a, it's a conversation Rodriguez and I had after the injury, and he said, 100%, it's Luca's your dog. And so they flew Luca to to Finland when I was over working at the embassy to have wow. uh, to reunite us, and it was a, it was an amazing moment. It was a happy day for both of you, Absolutely. I'm sure. Yes, I am sure. Well, your book is so amazing because I think you know we hear in the news every day about. Uh, the sacrifice that you all are making, fighting for freedom, and and yet your book really goes into detail and helps us understand some of the day-to-day -day just grit and courage and strength mm -hmm. that it takes to be where you are. So we thank you for the book. We thank you for your service. It's really an honor to have you here today. Thank you very She's much. She's quite the quite the lady. <laughs> well, Luca has a fascinating story. You can read all of it in the new book, Top Dog, the story of marine hero Luca. It's written by Maria Godavage, and I think you'll really enjoy it. It's available wherever books are sold. Chris, thank you so much for being with us today for your service and for Luca's service as well. Great Thanks to have you here.